Would you pay 200 and something thousand dollars for a Toyota? Well, perhaps if it was this particular Toyota, you might. Welcome back to Ashi Kamat Reviews and today we're driving the all new Toyota GR Yaris. So before we start today's review, just want to quickly shout out Bridgestone for sponsoring today's video. If you are looking to replace your tyres, then Bridgestone is an excellent choice. They are, after all, a global leader in tyres. This is what is known as a homologation special. Basically, to go racing in the World Rally Championships, car manufacturers have to build a race car based on a production car, of which 25,000 have to be made for the road. So, this car was designed specifically with racing in mind, and it was built with that particular purpose. Keep that in mind. The Toyota GR Yaris is currently not available at Borneo Moto. The 1.6-litre turbocharged engine produces 257 brake horsepower and 360 Nm of torque. The 6-speed manual transmission brings the car from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.5 seconds. For more details on the GR Yaris or any other car, head on to sgcarmart.com to help you make a smart choice on your next car. Visually, this GR Yaris is a stunning looking thing. You know, it's wide, it's low to the ground, you've got really aggressive front end, and I do like how the wheels are really pushed out to the edges of the car. You just get really, really squat looking thing. Really evokes a sense of speed and performance. Also, this car has been designed to be light, so you've got BBS Ford trims, you've got a carbon roof, and instead of four doors, you get two. Now, if we move on to the back of the car, the sense of muscularity also translates to the rear of the car. So we've got really nice bulging rear wheel arches, we've got a rear diffuser with twin tailpipes, and overall you get an unmistakable rear end, complete with this GR Yaris badge. Now let's check out the boot. We've got a 174 litre boot, which is tiny. However, this is a tiny car, so you know, you can fit one big luggage, that's it. Now let's go check out the inside of the car. Rear seats. Yeah, don't expect too much. This is my driving position and I basically have close to no extra leg room. Headroom, I'm 1.7 meters tall and I cannot actually sit completely straight up because my head touches the roof. So yeah, this is probably best left for kids. Right, so we're here in the cabin of the GI Yaris and it is quite a bare bones cabin. So a couple of things I do like. I do really like these seats. They're nice and comfortable yet sporty. You know, we've got this Alcantara material. We also have some more equipment. We have a head-up display. We have an infotainment system with Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We've got very, very nice and cold aircon. But yeah, beyond that, materials are kind of uh, so-so with a lot of plastics everywhere. You know, plastic, plastic, plastic. We've got this thing that looks like Alcantara. It's not Alcantara, it's plastic. So yeah, you know, this is a bare bones interior. It is ultimately a performance car, right? So it's all about the driving experience. There's also a badge that reminds you this was developed for FIA World Rally Championship. So while we can't actually go rallying in Singapore, we can go driving. So let's go. Some quick numbers with this car. Under the bonnet, we have a 1.6 litre turbocharged engine that produces 257 brake horsepower and 360 newton meters of torque. It's a lot of power. It's actually the most powerful three port in the world right now. Also, this car is very light. It's under 1.3 tons. As a result, zero to 100 takes just 5.5 seconds. So yes, obviously this is a really, really quick car. Also, it's a manual so that does add to the sense of driving involvement with this car. You know, nowadays it's really rare to find a manual car. However, what's really special about this car is just how chuckable it is. So, you know, I'm doing reasonable speeds, you know, just a little bit of steering and, and the car really just changes directions so instantly and with, with such a sense of agility and sharpness. And that obviously comes down to the fact that it's light, it's small, it's a short wheelbase, you have a really sharp steering, not the most communicative steering, but you know, very, very accurate. And I love that about this car, you know, it's it's fun, it's not overly complicated, you just you just just dress drive it however you want want it. And the engine does a very good job of egging you on all the time, you know. There's there's plenty of power, but there's so much usable, usable torque all around the, the torque band and it's it's really, really, really fun to drive this car. I, it's not common to find cars like, like these anymore. And you know, there's a reason for that, right? You can tell that this car was, 
was made and was designed specifically with really sporting ambitions in mind. And that's fantastic. I also do like that the suspension isn't overly stiff. You know, there is some give in the suspension and as a result, the, the wheels are always able to find purchase on a road, no matter how sort of broken or poor the road may be. And that's, and that's great. A um, couple of downsides. It's a manual. It's not the greatest manual gearbox in the world, I think, in terms of the slickness and, and how, how the gear slot into place. It's all right. Yeah. And I must say the sitting position is quite high. This is the lowest possible sitting position and it's still a little bit high for me. So yeah, those things, yeah, you know, some downsides. So with a car like that, really where you want to be is round corners. And yeah, you know, there's so much traction, you know, you can dive deep into the corner, get on the power early out of the corners and yeah, it's just so much fun it's so engaging to drive and that's fantastic and of course when we talk about grip a key element is the rubber that connects the car to the tarmac so if you are driving a performance car perhaps something like this GR Yaris then you want to check out Bridgestone's Potenza Sport tires these tires are designed in Europe and are meant for ultra high performance driving so obviously Bridgestone has invested plenty of R&D to ensure that in both wet and dry conditions these tires offer plenty of cornering grip, stability and braking, but without sacrificing everyday comfort. And with this car, with this engine and this chassis, it really aches you on to push harder, to drive a little bit faster. And I love that about this car, right? You, you can tell that this was exactly what it was designed to do. It was designed to corner in that sense. And that's fantastic. That's really so much fun and it's so engaging. This car's motorsport DNA really shines through and that's what you're paying for. You know, it delivers an experience that's so different, so racing focused. That's a really, truly remarkable thing. So, the new Toyota GR Yaris, is it a will buy, won't buy, or go try? It's a go try. <laughs> I would say this is a will buy, however, there is a big problem with that, which is that you cannot actually buy this car right now, at least not from Borneo Motors. So Borneo actually brought in 22 units, but they're all completely spoken for. So even if you have the money and wanted to buy it, you can't get it, at least not from Borneo. However, if you do get the chance, I, I would really implore you to go and try this car, whether you have a lucky friend who managed to buy this car, you can try it at the showroom, etc. Go and sit inside, go and drive it and experience what it's like. I know for 200 and however many thousand that people are asking for for this car now, it's a lot of money, right? For most people, that's probably too much money for what is essentially a small Toyota. However, you must understand something, right? This isn't just any normal car. This isn't a car for most people. This is a performance car and a very particular kind of performance car. You could compare this with cars like a GTI or Megan RS, but again, I don't think there is a direct comparison because those are your more, say, normal or typical hot hatches, right? Where you take a standard car and then you put in a big engine, go faster bits and stuff like that. This car was built purposefully to go racing and that Motorsport DNA really comes through in everything that you do, whether it's how it drives, how it looks, how it feels on the road. And that is something quite remarkable. That, that delivers a very unique kind of experience that you'll be hard pressed to find anywhere else nowadays. So remember how I said that Toyota built this car because they wanted to go rallying? Well, that was the plan. However, for the 2021 season, Toyota actually decided to use their existing 2017 car and for the upcoming 2022 season, the WRC regulations actually have changed such that cars, the rally cars now need to run hybrid powertrains and completely different thing. So yeah, this car isn't going to be rallying in the WRC. I mean, there's some talk about this doing some rallies in Australia and stuff, stuff like that. So effectively, this this GI Yaris might be the closest you would get to Toyota's rally car, at least as they originally intended it to be. 
So with a car like this, you're not just buying a car, you know, you're buying an experience, obviously. You're buying something that's limited edition, something that's rare, something that's a collector's item in a way. But I think most importantly, you're kind of buying a piece of history, right? Whether you want to call these homologation specials, you know, road-going race cars or rally cars with number plates, cars like these nowadays can feel like a thing of the past, right? With the way the car industry is going, you know, these sorts of cars, they can increasingly feel like they're going extinct. Or some people might even say they are already extinct. So the fact that this GR Yaris even exists here and now, man, that's really something special. All right, so that's our review of the Toyota GR Yaris. A big shout out to Bridgestone for sponsoring today's video. If you want to find out more about Bridgestone's new Potenza Sport tires, check out the link in the description box below. Do also like and share this video and subscribe to see more of our upcoming videos. Until next time, bye.